the first thing you see when you open the mat sculpt is the sphere and we don't need this but what we do need are pictures of the 2d pictures of the icons now if you check the description box of this youtube video you actually see a link just open the link and then download the files those are the files we'll be using for this class if or if you have any other pictures that you want to use that is fine too okay so we're going to delete this so to delete just click on the network icon okay and then you see the sphere and then just click on delete so what we're going to do now is bring in a shape so click on the network icon again and then see the tri planner click on that okay so this is how it looks like we don't need the one inside so to remove this we're going to click on the mask icon and then click on clear everything clears up click on it again to remove okay so you see like this so what we're going to do right now is bring in an image now to bring in an image what you do is click on the pencil icon click on alpha and then click on plus which is addition and then photos okay so i have the pumpkin the bats the spider and the ghosts i'm going to start with the pumpkin okay so we have the pumpkin now now there's something else we need to do so scroll down okay we want the fall off to be flat so we're going to click on this and then click on flat just straight line and then still scroll down scroll down the stroke type now you see that it's on dots if it's on dots it means it comes out as dots it's on grab dynamic radius it means just one image expanded reduce whatever you want to do with the image but it's way more flexible so we're going to click on that and then connect this click on connected topology and then yeah that's all so there is that the most symmetry because we only want one of it and then let's draw our pumpkin right here you see that's all <laughs> we have our icon that that is it that's all now you can decide to make this smoother to make it smoother just click on the matte icon go down you can increase topology so let's see um so let's say 200 this depends on you i mean if you like if you like it to look like this that's fine you know you can just you we went too far <laughs> we went too far went too far what I'm doing right now is undoing and I'm just doing that by tapping to just tapping two of my fingers on the screen. I went back too far, so to redo, just three fingers tap, and that's it. So again to go back again and just go put a little bit of it. Yeah, I think 245. Now you can actually also you know make it smoother if you want. You can make it less smoother. So it just depends on what you want. So I'm going to go with 40. But pay in mind, like pay attention to the vertices, right? Because I mean, the more you do to it, the more, you know, you add, the more load it's going to like put on your system. So make sure that whatever you're doing, you, know, you pay attention to that too. So I think I'm fine with this. So I'm going to validate. Oops. Under. So I'm going to validate. And there we have it. That's our icon. Okay. You can decide to color this. To paint this. You can actually just on the right side. You'd see paint. Okay. And then click on the ball. The paint. The painted ball here. 
and then just select whatever color you want you can select from the presets paint all so you can okay so let's move on to the next one all right so the same thing that we did before the tri planner again yes so what we can do is that we can actually decide to view this one only to do that just you know on just at the left just bottom bottom corner you see solo it's with um, a search icon so just click solo and then you'd see this only so the same thing that we did before the mask clear and then bring in an image so it's bringing an image we click on plus again photos let's do the bat this time okay and then oops <laughs> remove symmetry because symmetry you want to I mean really wants one so that's the bat okay you can decide to increase the vertices topology so that it looks smoother you can decide to increase the smoothness I think we need to make this on flat a little bit okay this is fine for me okay and then validate and then to bring the other one back just click on solo icon again all right so let's move the bat icon so to do that just click on the gizmo tool which is you know on the right panel and then just move it aside you can paint it again by you know going to the paint tool and then painting this Okay, so let's bring in the side image. So the same thing as before. Okay, a tri planner, and then let's make this solo and bring in image. This time we're going to bring in two images at once. Okay, so yeah, we have the spider image now, and then we could remove this by clicking on the mask clear and then drawing this remove the symmetry of course i always forget that <laughs> and then drawing this there's another thing that you can actually do which is you can actually decide to invert this spider so when you do that it's going to be like this okay so that's that's something else you can do like a negative space kind of thing i don't know <laughs> so yeah you can actually also do that you can also decide to scale now this is going to just you know say we want the particular part of the image we only want that part that's it so, you, so there's that okay we can decide to say we want tiling which is like um pattern so you can do that too you can do as many no not as many but as <laughs> many as it will allow you to do i think 10 is the highest okay, okay. so that's it for this one and then the last one let's do the last one so again try planner then click on the ghosts which we already have here let's make this solo oops let's make this solo and then 
clear and yeah so you see like this one because it's a little less simple than the other ones so detail is a bit lost um detailing is a bit lost so you can just increase from here topology in just play with the settings from here okay mm -hmm. and that's validates now this one i kind of feel like the vex is too much so i can use the gizmo tool to just do that okay just push it in so there's that so that's it that's all as usual you can paint whatever you want to paint okay so after this you can actually decide to put your lights okay you can decide okay so i mean in the spirit of making this easy we can just decide to use the environment so i'm going to also um share a link to hdr images you know a place where you can actually download hdr images for and use as your environment i mean once you download the images all you just need to do is click on the plus and then get the images from your photos and then use it as an environment so if you even look through mine see i've it's a little bit more than yours because i've downloaded from you know sites so this is just a quick way to give you colors i'm going to go with this color i'm going to go with this environment sorry yeah i'm going to go with this one um and then post processing <laughs> of course so click on post process icon and then just click on that and then you can just customize this the ambience occlusion the depth of field i'm going to leave it like this since this icon the bloom i don't just we're not really using that the tone mapping this is where you can put like the exposure and contrasts and saturation okay and the curvature which is like the lines you can see those lines around sorry you can see those lines around the icons right that's curvature so you can actually customize that you can put any color that you want you see that you can put any color that you want i'm just going to go back leave it like that you can decide to leave it out it's up to you you can add this if you want you can increase the you know you can add green you can add sharpness and all of that and then of course you can always customize the background color so you can customize background color by clicking on the image icon and then just customizing the background color so whatever color that you want you can also use the environment as the color okay or you could actually also you know when you scroll down here you could actually also click on transparent background so you don't necessarily have to use a background so let's even just save this because anything can happen <laughs> So now to save, click on the settings icon, scroll down, increase your render resolution. So you get that sharp, clean, nice edge to it. And sharp, clean, whatever. <laughs> but render resolution increase, and then click on the folder icon, scroll down, click on whatever resolution that you want 4K, 720, whatever and then paint stick on transparent background export png and there that's our icon
you can just save this so that's saved so if you don't actually want to download everything that is here like you want to do one by one what you can do is actually hide the ones that you don't want to see in the image and then of course puts it how you want it to appear in the picture so i want it to appear like this front okay and then folder icon exports png and then there you have it so as you can see, I actually made some little changes. I added background, I changed the materials a little bit, refraction. You can easily do that by clicking the material icon and I click refraction and then I switched up the colors a little bit. So like I said, I play around with it, you find out you can do so much more. And yeah, I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Your support goes a long way in you know motivating us to drop more content. So yeah. Like, have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.